All the trouble Nissan's having selling cars. Apparently Mitsubishi thought it'd be a good time to buy some of their shares back. I assume that was some sort of a joint decision trying to help Nissan with their dwindling sales profitability. So Nissan apparently is to own 34.07% of Mitsubishi and it's going to drop down to 24.05. Looks like they're still going to work together which is a good idea. Just uh, any of the development. The development stuff so expensive so anytime auto companies can work together they can save some money. But here's the reason why I wanted to do this. So in, the, in this ad it's giving me like I'm looking to buy Mitsubishi's and these two this is a dealer that uh, buys smash cars and fixes them. So I just thought that was the funniest thing that that is the uh, I don't Google AdSense thought I wanted to buy some smash Mitsubishi's uh, just because I was uh, looking at it. I mean, I didn't look at these or anything, but I just know the reputation of the dealer that they're showing that they uh, have a bunch of vehicles. I mean, they're fixed and everything, but you know, it's just not a clean Carfax type of thing. You know, it's, it's had issues. I don't want to rip on them. I mean, they've got honest business going, but just odd that it, uh, you know, gives me that rather than maybe some new. Of course, this ad over here is trying to sell me a Honda and all flips to Chevy. So, depends on who's paying for the ads, I guess. But in any case, uh, Mitsubishi and Nissan going to continue to work together. But uh, Nissan's getting some cash out of reducing their ownership in Mitsubishi. I assume Nissan's going to be able to turn themselves around. I would expect, I mean, it looks like interest rates are dropping a little bit. Things are turning around a little bit in the U.S. at least. I'm not sure how they're doing in other markets, but they've been kind of struggling in the U.S. Uh, Nissan has. They've had to put on so much uh, incentives. So the, uh, the automakers, for the most part, have been offering uh, interest rate cuts and different things like that. They haven't actually cut the prices of the vehicles. They've been giving interest rate cuts. So one of the things they do is when they cut the interest rate, Basically, the manufacturer has to pay the difference. But depending on how their contract's written, it's possible that when interest rates drop, they'll get some of their money back. I mean, hopefully they've got it written that way. Because when the interest rate drops, the bank loaning the money isn't going to be out as much, basically. So we'll see if they can get a little bit of kickbacks as the interest rates drop back down. But, I mean, you know how it is. When interest rates go up, they all go up really fast. But when they come down, it takes a while to uh, get the consumer the lower interest rate. So, so we'll see how that plays out. But hopefully uh, Nissan turns their situation around. Uh, last I saw, they were still profitable but had dropped to just about zero profit. And bringing some cash in helps, but, uh, you know, there's probably some dividends or something. I'm not sure how profitable Mitsubishi is, but uh, we'll see how Nissan does. And we'll see, well, we'll see how uh, Mitsubishi does too. But the incentives are uh, really cutting in, but uh, hopefully that turns around for them and they can uh, become more profitable. All right, thank you.